All right, my good friend, you're back for Gemini, the messages of the gods, to represent uh, speed, to represent communication, transportation, the ancient car of this guy, and he has wings on his heel, okay? Mercury. And you try to catch Mercury, he's going to go all over your fingers. You can't catch Mercury metal, you know? It's just going all over the place. <laughs> and I have the hidden dragon in Gemini and the moon in Gemini. And the moon represents home and family. So I'm in my home right now. I'm talking, blah, 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 teaching, blah, blah, blah. I'm writing books. I'm writing newsletter, the messages of the gods. Wherever you're going to have this Gemini, you're going to have that dexterity of the mind. You're going to be very curious. And like Dr. Terry, you're going to be sought as a ADD or ADHD. And it's not a disorder. In fact, it being ADD is a gift. Einstein was ADD. Gemini, the messengers of the gods. Your president is Gemini. Okay? So, Gemini is two, four, six. You cannot have one hotel, one golf course, one tweet. And Gemini divide is dual. Everything two, four, six with Gemini. That's why our president, if you look at the stars, okay, you can see that. Um, he, he repeats himself many, many times in the sentences and he changes his mind. And if you click again on the Gemini uh, information, uh, you will see that you see one face and it casts you a spell on the other face. And that's the entire presidency of, of uh, Donald Trump. Okay, again, remember, I am not a politician, I'm an astrologer. I am discussing the sign of Gemini, and it represents that everything happened by two, two, four, six. That's why he's been impeached twice. Is he going to come back as a president? Remember, everything happened by two, four, six. That depends on the karmic 2021 uh, Scorpius Draconis. I'm going to elaborate on that right now. So what's going on with Gemini? If you're born in June or if you're a Gemini, the head of the dragon is on you. Or you're going to be more active, more intellectual, more impatient than you have ever been before. Okay, remember Gemini rules radio, communication, transportation. It rules newspaper, magazine. And that's why everybody has been talking about President Trump because 2021, the dragon is in Gemini for another year. It's been there for a year already, okay? So as this dragon is fading away, so will President Trump. But, and COVID-19, because when you elect a president, you have to suffer his idiosyncrasies and you have to suffer his fate, okay? So understand that I'm not against Trump. I'm not a politician. I just understand and translate his stars. And if you want to know more, well, just Google Dr. Turi, President Trump, and you can read all about his dragon's head and his tail. Okay, his tail is in Sagittarius. Okay, foreigners, foreign land, animals, pets is the only president who never had a pet in the White House. Uh, it was the law. 50 times he tried with the law. He never succeeded. Now he's being cursed with the law because of his taxes. Not like he was the law. Uh, he rules foreigners and foreign affairs. He gets our worst enemy as friends. He put America in the box. Long story. Okay. If you want to know more, just you know, read that uh, newsletter. That's an omen if you're a Trump supporter. Don't scream, don't bark, and just educate yourself. Don't assume it. Don't be mad at me. All right, <laughs> Gemini. So the head is in Gemini. We talked about Trump forever. All Gemini are going to be going. They're going to get that upsurge of energy, okay? And you don't have to be a Gemini. If you have the moon, the rising, or the dragon in Gemini, you're going to be affected. That's why you will only know if you have a reading in detail. that I can tell, I can tell you all that. But the tail of the dragon, the tail of the dragon for Gemini is in the seventh house. What is the seventh house? That's the hair of so marriage, partnerships, contract, the public, the public life. Look what happened to your president. His entire image gonna be this has been destroyed with the public. Okay. So understand that if you're happily married, your relationship will grow drastically. If you're not happy, if you're not happily married, the dragon will change your partner. And as a rule, you're supposed to have a foreign partner. You're supposed to learn a different language. Look at me. I have a very strong Gemini. I'm from France. I'm here. I speak four languages. Married a couple of times. Okay. Understand the duality of Gemini. So 
in so many, many ways. The idea for Gemini is to crystallize his thought, to become a writer, a teacher of the higher order, okay, and uh, reach foreigners and foreign land. But right now there is a curse. There is a curse on foreign land and foreigners because we just came out of Trump stars, which has cursed the world with foreigners and the Paris Act in nature. And then it put us in the box. And that's what led us to uh, the, the thought process to create COVID-19. We don't need a war. We already have COVID-19 is better than a war. But to understand this, you have to educate yourself on the superconscious in time and space and understand that your future is nothing else than the reincarnation of the thought. And the majority of future makes you responsible for creating the future. Get the book beyond the secret and understand that. Now, because this dragon is on your seventh house, you will attract foreigners, Ergos, Dr. Cherry, and you will be forced to completely and entirely reevaluate your philosophical values. A lot of Gemini are going to write, going to get on the radio, they're going to do extraordinary things because the dragon is on them. But on the seventh house, you have the tail of the dragon. Again, get Notre Dame's dragon forecast for 2021. Read how these dragons going to affect you personally, universally, and most of all, read all the details of all the planets affecting each one of your houses. There you go. That was for Gemini. I hope you enjoyed anything else, you know, face to face with Dr. Cherry on Zoom, and I'll take care of you. Until then, bye bye, my good friend Gemini.